Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Travel Money. This is D-Rail. Um, we're going to do a first... First, we're going to do a quick video. It's going to be a part one on a cruise line I'm about to travel with. Um, Paradise Cruises. They're a cruise line that usually takes you to the Grand Bahamas for two-day trips, three-day trips, four-day trips. And, um... I just want to do a quick review. This is going to be a part one of a part two. The first part is going to be the process that I had to go through with them in order to get the uh, cruise. And then the part two is going to be the real life application when we're on the cruise ship. I'm going to have a whole bunch of photos, videos, and uh, basically tell you um, how their cruise line is. Now, as y'all know, I'm already I'm a certified travel agent. I work with a company that allows people to travel more for less and also uh, earn a commission check doing so, and it gives you a check for helping others, but that's not neither here nor there. Um, right now, we want to talk about Paradise Cruise Lines. I was referred to them by one of my uh, good friends and colleagues, and he said, yo, let's take this trip. Um, he knows about this cruise line where you uh, only basically pay about $60 per person, and that's only for the fuel charges and I think port fees or whatever. $60 per person and maybe $12 a day in uh, taxes or gratuities. I don't know which one it is. So I said, hey, great. That sounds awesome to me. He gave me the number. I got on the phone with them. And um, when I called them, they basically broke it down to me what it was. Uh... On their part, I feel that customer service needs to be revamped because it was like they were just trying to pass me on to the next person uh, just to get the sale. So basically, for two people, I spent $120 for a two-night stay in the Bahamas, in the Grand Bahama Islands, um, and basically, I paid for it with my credit card. And I suggest a whole bunch of people pay for most of their trips with credit cards because if there's any fraudulent things going on, because I'm not going to say this is a fraudulent company, but I would say that their customer service and their booking does not have it all together because this is a special promotion that they do. When I call the uh, cruise line directly, the trip that we were taking to the Grand Bahama Islands for two people was supposed to be $400. That was all together but this is a special deal that they do they say it's a free cruise giveaway um and it was about hundred and twenty dollars for two people sixty dollars per person so when I called them they told me what it's all about they said okay the cruise ship is leaving out of uh, West Palm what, what is it? West Palm Beach Florida and they give you a whole bunch of dates that you could cruise on which is cool, and they give you the option to take the two-day cruise and come back to West Palm Beach, or you could get on a cruise ship, they leave you in West Palm Beach, they have a hotel, and you could stay there and the cruise ship will come pick you back up. That's an awesome, uh, you know, thing to do, but I really wasn't interested in that. I just wanted to take my cruise because I love my cruises, and for that price, you can't really uh, beat it, being that I'm in Atlanta and a flight from here to West Palm Beach is probably about uh forty fifty dollars each way um now with the booking i booked it i booked with the number that i was given they took down all my information and they said okay now you're uh you have your basically you have your uh reservation well, not even a reservation they have you in the system so i could uh redeem my free cruise um, and then they gave me another number to book the cruise. So when I booked the cruise, um, the first time I got on a three-way call with my buddy because he had the number and the phone got disconnected. Then I called him back by myself and I booked the cruise. And in the process of booking the cruise, they wanted to upgrade me to death. Now, I understand being sales, people like to up, upgrade you or uh, upsell you on things. And um, I had no problem with that, being that I've dealt with sales. And that's, you know, just good for certain people's businesses. But 
it was like every four seconds in the conversation, they wanted to upgrade me on the room. They wanted to see if I wanted to stay in Fort Lauderdale at their hotel. They wanted to see if I wanted a balcony suite. They wanted to see if I wanted to stay in, in the Grand Bahama Islands for two days at another one of their hotels. Um, I didn't need that. I just wanted my $125, $120, $30 cruise. Now, I booked the cruise, and here was the kicker because I don't, I'm not going to say it's a scam. I just say it's kind of dishonest the way they do you. If the cruise is leaving at West Palm Beach, they said I had to pick up my boarding pass in Fort Lauderdale. And I had an issue with that. So then I called back and spoke to another representative because you never speak to the same person twice. And they gave me, they forwarded me the travel agent's uh, number, which is just a regular person, not in the office. I left her a message. And when I spoke to her, she was like, oh, you don't have to go to uh, Fort Lauderdale, which is a 45-minute drive out of my way from, you know, the port to Fort Lauderdale. But she said the reason they do that is because they want to sit you down, give you a presentation for about 30, 45 minutes to try to upsell you on more stuff and more stuff, and then they give you your boarding pass. So I spoke to her. She was like, they can do that. They have an office next to the uh, port on the ship, uh, by the ship where it's, take, where it's leaving at and de departing at, and they said, well, we can set that up there. It's just 35, 35 to 40 minutes presentation. They're going to try to sell me a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to refuse because I don't need it. And then they're going to give me an onboard credit of $50 when I get on the boat. Now, to sum that all up, um, with the experience that I had with them uh, so far and not getting on the cruise ship yet because we're leaving on... Uh, the weekend of Halloween, October, I think, 29th to the 31st, just a quick two-day cruise. Um, from the experience I had to deal with on the customer service side, would I want to deal with them again? I would have to say no. Um, for the simple fact that I was just passed on to too many people, and I just felt like a number and not a person. Now, when I deal with other cruise lines like Royal Caribbean or Carnival, I'm treated like a person. I'm not passed on to a third party. When I speak to a representative, they take care of all my bookings. If I'm booking from my uh, office and I have to get on a, a phone with uh, Royal Caribbean or Carnival, I talk to one person. He deals with all my questions. He gives me all my answers. He'll even book what I need booked if I don't want to book it through my own computer and still get a commission for it. But with these folks, uh, it was just, you know, they were just on a selling, a selling spree. They just wanted to upsell me for everything. And um, I didn't like that. I felt very uncomfortable. And some people that are not in the travel business or, you know, they travel, but they're not in the travel industry, will feel that they're being scammed. Um, I wouldn't say it's a scam. They just try to sell you everything and a whole bunch of things that you don't need. You know, if I'm going to the store to buy some shoes, I just need shoes. I don't need shoes, socks, a bow tie, a watch, and a daggone Fitbit. Um, and if they could have kept it like that, it would have been cool. But, you know, I come from a uh, marketing background. Back in the days, I used to do uh, market research for several companies. And I know when somebody's reading off a computer screen and they're reading off of a script. So, you know, I feel like a whole bunch of things were kind of dishonest and, you know, you didn't have my best intentions for me trying to go on a cruise for $120, $130. You, you didn't have my best intentions. You ain't want to make sure I had the time of my life. You just wanted to make sure that I was offered every product that y'all have had so you could upsell me it so you could get your commission. So, um, I'm going to wrap this up. This is Derail Travel Money. If you're interested in making... Uh, a little bit extra money uh, in the travel industry. I'm gonna send you. A, I'm gonna put a link on my video. I want you to like, subscribe. If y'all have any cruise uh, comments or cruise questions, or you just want a cruise booked, or learn how to book your own cruise and get a commission check for it, 
All my information will be in the video. I want y'all to like, subscribe. I appreciate your time. Peace.